Well, good morning, everybody. We're back here in Elk Mountain. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. It is the first day of November. Trees are starting to change color. Let's see what is on the docket for today. Head downstairs. And, uh, oof. Let's check our little garden next door. Well, we have stuff ready to sell. Hmm. I'm going to need some way to transport these to market. Let me go see what I have as far as trailers go. Uh, let's grab the pickup truck here. <laughs> oh, four. I did have somebody call interested in a couple of my vintage tractors. I'm trying to decide whether I should or shouldn't sell them. Should I sell or should I say no? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> um, should I sell or should I go now? Uh, I gotta think about it. I mean, I suppose if we could get in and out of this trailer, nah. Like, basically, we're just going to sell those at the local grocery store. I don't want to use the semi-truck for that. Man, I hate to spend more money, though. Um, but I think we're going to have to buy I need to buy, like, a flat, some sort of flatbed trailer. Uh, but, yeah, so I have somebody interested in these tractors. I may uh, take his offer. He wants to come by and look at them. So I'm going to actually put them out this morning, and, and he may show up and, and buy these these two. He was he didn't want the bigger tractors, but he was interested in the more vintage tractors. And I mean, we're talking a lot of money. He was saying that these these are pretty rare, especially in this good condition that my that uh, the original owner kept them in. I I don't really use them for anything. They're too small. Uh, and so I was thinking maybe we could sell these and get kind of an inter intermediate size tractor. Uh, but we'll see. I think the weather's supposed to be nice today, so I should be okay leaving these out. But if it rains, I'll park them under the awning. Um, Cool tractors, though, but like I said, it may be a way to, to either get us out of some debt or pay some bills off or maybe even buy another small modern tractor. But I don't really need one. I, I do, you know, but it made me think, like, what, do I want to keep any of these big, like, old tractors? I don't know if I could part with the International. I really like that tractor. Um, This is one of my favorite tractors, uh, and so I don't know if I'd be able to part with this one or not. We'll have to, I'll have to think about it. <sighs> this one really doesn't do us much good either, um, so I don't know. Maybe this one will go. We'll see. The Massey's definitely staying. That's our big tractor. We need that, but um, I don't think I'd get rid of the case. I'll have to think about it. Maybe if the right offer comes along, but, I mean, he was talking, I want to say somewhere... The Moline was definitely worth more because it's very rare. He was talking upwards of $100,000 possibly for this tractor. Um, but he wanted to see the condition. He said the 40 would go about 60. So we'll see. I'm not saying that that's what he'll end up doing, but we could potentially make be making $160,000 today. I never thought about selling those. Um, but I guess he, he was acquaintances with the guy that owned them before and um, since he heard that he got out of the business he's like oh you did you just leave him and he's like yeah so so I'm gonna go see what kind of trailers we have at the store 
they probably won't be open yet, but I'll hang out there and wait till they are. Um, have some coffee at the local breakfast diner. So I'll be back in just a minute when I get into town. See you shortly. The dealerships just opened. I had coffee this morning at TSC. <laughs> uh, and uh, they actually, I was talking to the guy that right there at the Fresh Produce Market. I don't see him now, but uh, they pay some pretty good prices for produce. So I'm going to be bringing my produce there to sell. Let's see. Oh, that's right. We bought this thing, too. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I think it just fits to the front of a tractor. So we're going to have to figure out how to do that, too. I think it just goes on the front end. And we can use it to blow straw. So I buy these things and don't know what they do. Let's go inside the shop and see what they have to offer us as far as trailers go. I guess I don't particularly want a semi-trailer, but wait, where did I? There. Let me in. Let me in. Maybe they don't open until 9. I thought they opened at 8. I'll knock around and see if I can find someone. Ah, they let me in. They're going to meet me up here at the counter. So, trailers. I think it'll be under MISC or front loaders. Let's see what we got here. We got the old tractor one. Um, that's not a lot of choices. These are too big for what I want. This would be nice because we could load vehicles onto it and tow it around with track with the pickup truck. Though that trailer is a little large for our pickup. Um, we could use it to transport vehicles. In fact, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a good one. Let's see what else they got, though. No, header trailers. Miscellaneous? This would work. It's a little on the small side, but more manageable. Manageable. Um, what else do we have? I really think that's unfortunately it. Unless we go this route, like one of these, that's too, that's probably going to be too small. I mean, that would work also. Uh... That's really more of a farm style... Well, bulk carrier. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I honestly don't know how many veggies we're going to get out of this thing. Maybe I should find that out first, but let's rent something for today. Uh, uh, I'm thinking we'll, we'll try this. 408 bucks to lease. That's not too bad. We'll make that back with the first pallet load. So let's let's just see if that's sufficient. I really don't want to be making multiple trips, but you make more money if you do, like a lot more money if you drive it yourself. That's why I'm doing it this way. Yeah, that looks about right for this pickup truck too. And all right, so I'm going to head back. See you in a minute. All right, we are coming up our driveway here. our house in the garden. And I probably, I don't know. I don't know how often we'll be doing this by hand. Uh, an auto loader would make things a lot easier. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab the forklift. All right. Um, So we're going to put these up. We're going to grab 
this down. And I'm going to run this up to the house, and what we're going to do, of course, is, as I said, we're going to load all this stuff onto a trailer, which is some of my favorite things to do. Not. Um, but we'll get out this loaded, see how much there is. If there is, like, a ton of stuff, then we may... I may end up just selling these. Uh, I would expect that there's more, but I don't know how much more is going to be in there. Once again, if you sell them yourself, you get a much better price because they give you... Like, what they do is they give you the average price. And on this map, that could be a third of what the main price is because I think like or half because right now the average price for like tomatoes is you know like 700 per box but that dude's giving us almost 2,000 so it's like there's there's benefits to, to selling it like this way but it does have but then again we're farmers I mean what what else is there to do this is what we're not supposed to be doing stop it trailer sticking to the box already a fun process <laughs> Wee! fun oh what was that <laughs> come on there we go snap those on uh, oh and they're back <laughs> they're filled back up again But we need income. This is a good way to make ten, twenty thousand dollars. You know, hand-grown vegetables. That's what a farm does. Morningly chores. Feed the cows. Or at least check the cows. Ugh. Eh, maybe not filling back up again. So that's good. That won't. There's not that much to do, and that's I think from overnight. So that's really not that bad. I can handle doing a couple couple pallets a day. And we should have like like we do here. About four times as many strawberries, because that's how the, the production goes. So we got a bunch of strawberries and some other products. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly how it shook out. It's exactly how it should be. Um, back up just a little bit. I have four strawberries, two tomatoes, and one thing of lettuce. And just so you know, that's exactly the production numbers. They're half, half, and half, and they're worth twice. This is what I tried to tell people about growing the vegetables. It doesn't matter which ones you grow. No matter what, you get the same amount. Because people are like, well, you get, you know, you make less on strawberries. Well, no, you don't, because you make four times as many strawberries. So e even though strawberries are only worth a quarter of what the lettuce is worth, you make four times as many. So the truth or the bottom line is um, you make the same amount growing whichever vegetable you want. However, it just means you have to handle more pallets. So like with lettuce, I only have to handle one pallet for, for $3,000. For tomatoes, I have to handle two pallets for $3,000. And strawberries, I have to handle four pallets for $3,000. They're all worth $3,000, but with one, I have to handle more pallets. So that's the only downside to growing strawberries. But um, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see was the four to four to two to one. All right. 
right, last pellet. So see, that wasn't so bad, was it? There we go. So the warehouse has been emptied. Warehouse. The greenhouse slash garden has been emptied. And we're going to run this back down to the barn. And I'll take those down to the market and sell them. This thing is titchy. It's titchy and go. Boink. Oops. Okay. Uh, there's that. And uh, that dude said he'd be here around 1 o'clock, so we got a ways to go before he gets here. Uh, what is, so what do we need to do today aside from that stuff? Cow should still be fed. We got lots of hay bales left. Um Let's see how they're doing. They got plenty of food, lots of water. Health is only 51%. It should be 100%. But it says, I remember people saying it takes about a month for them to get full health. So there's no reason why they're not at 100% health. I don't understand that. Okay, well, anyway, they're, they should be full. Disappointing, but they will get there. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, and they don't need, I found out they don't need grass. Oh, well. It's too late. I already done it. All right, so let's go take a look here and see at this field what's going on. And I think we're going to have to turn this field in the next couple of days. We have a little bit of time, but. Yep. <laughs> it needs to work. Uh, the other thing, though, is I also, if we're going to look at the map real quick here, hang on. Um, if I sell these tractors, I might buy another field. Uh, so our field's here, number four. Let's see, we're going to go to look at the world around us. Uh, we have $74,000 for that field, and... What's this one? This is a nothing. $73,000 for this. We could turn that into a field. It's right next door. Um, Bighorn Lake. Um, but, yeah, I, this this would work for us here. And that one's 66. I'd rather go with this field here, the square one. But we'll, we'll see. We'll stop and look at it on our way out. Uh, I'm going to go grab the pickup truck. I'll be right back. All right. So we've got our produce loaded up. I'm going to close these beds. There we go. We're going to head into town, but on the way out, we're going to take a look at that field. Because, 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 because. Because I'm thinking of buying it. I'm off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Farmer's Market. He's so magical, he makes a green line in the sky. Um, all right, so the rain. We, we're, 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 oh. So we have this field here. Wow, that actually is a nice field. Um... Really, it's two fields. Let's take a look at the map again. All right, so that's this guy right here. And we could make half of that grass and half of that like a crop or do the whole thing a crop. And I don't really need more grass, honestly. Um, these are the other fields. This one has some trees on it.
this is the my phone keeps going off sorry this is the long larger field is that guy he's telling me Growing sorghum? What? How did he plant sorghum already? And what's on this field? Barley already? This is a nice flat field, though. It is huge. It's kind of overwhelming. Once again, if we go through the woods here, we're going to jump through here. My woods. I'd own this, right? No, part of it. Um, this. Uh, I think I'm going to turn this into a field. Yeah, and it's right next to our, our farm. So I think I'm going to go with this first. We may eventually buy those, but I could see buying it this year. We'll we'll mow it. We'll buy it. We'll mow it. We'll sell off the hay. And then um, we'll turn that around and... Um, and... Uh, plow it under and turn it into a crop field. So I think that's the way that we're going to go. Maybe next year on these fields. So let's go ahead and to market to buy a fat pig. I'll be back. All right, we are arriving at the farmer's market. There it is. All highlighted in magical green. Sorry, guys, I forgot to turn that off. A little break from reality um, or imagined reality and so he's gonna buy our stuff from us so far we've sold two thousand dollars worth <laughs> I want more there we go though no, it's not bad. Seven or eight thousand dollars, three thousand dollars maybe. Who knows? And just like that, one day of doing nothing, we made four thousand dollars. That's what I like. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the farm. And pretty much, we're just going to be on a hold here. If I can... Oh, I should probably return this trailer. That trailer worked out well, though. I'll watch it over the next couple days, but I think that that's... We'll, we'll just buy one of these. Um, actually, maybe I just won't buy it now. It'll pay for itself in two days, you know. So we can ask if we can just buy it. No, we have to return it. I'll just buy one. <laughs> yeah. So that worked out perfectly. Uh, we could even probably, oops, double load that. Somehow I ended up outside the world. Um, yeah. There's the... All right. So there is that. And I'm going to head back, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. So it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and you'll notice tractors are gone. A little sad about that, but there's a couple things we can take care of now. First of all, let's see what's on sale. Anything good to buy? A pickup truck? What is this? This machine takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground of animal husbandry with straw. That's actually pretty cheap. I wonder if we take that other thing back. 
Let's see. What do we, we what do we have? This machine takes. Yeah, we'll just keep this. That's fine. Okay, so uh, we have because we don't even have bales right now. I'll have to get them with the pickup truck. Now that we have a pickup truck, we can grab some hay bales and uh, or the pickup trailer. So the first things first. Let's take a look. I think we have a loan out, and we. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, forty thousand bucks. Let's, dude. Let's get that. No interests. Perfect. So we have less money to work with, but we're, we have no loan. That is the best way to live. All right. Now let's go. Wish I could. In life, I mean, in real life, I'm pretty much loan free. I have my car loan, and that's in my house. But anyway, that's none of your business. Uh, <laughs> okay, I get in trouble with the things I say. People take things too literally and then get upset with me. Um, so once again, 66, 73, 74. And this includes both sides of the river. I don't really think either side is great, but yeah, let's do it. So we've just added to our farm. We still have 141 operating costs, so we're making a profit. <laughs> Not necessarily the way we're supposed to make a profit, but <coughs> a profit nonetheless. Um, how are our cows doing now? 69% healthy. Yeah, they're just slowly going up in health. Okay, anyway, uh, no milk. We can uh, add straw. Uh, so we can buy straw, and we'll do that later today. But the first thing's first. We need to start. Well, I would, I'm going to mow that other field. Because we can always do yard work over the winter. I mean... We still, it's only 2, 2 30 in the afternoon. We got, we can get a lot done today. So let's do some of it. Let's see, bale trailer, tether, mowers, windrower. So we're going to grab the big tractor. Get out there and mow. With our big cab forward tractor. This tractor does have a huge cab. It just, it's monstrously large. <coughs> So we're going to run next door to our new field. And we're going to mow that. Look at how those wiggle in the wind. Is that really how loose they are? I thought they were kind of plasticky, but who knows? So, we own this whole plot of land. Now, some of it's on the other side of that fancy fence. But, so, we'll just leave that. But this is all ours. I probably will leave this portion grass on this side of the post and start the field, the new field, on the other side of the posts. But this will remain grass, like a, kind of a auxiliary grass if we need it type thing. But in the meanwhile, we're going to make gobs of hay and sell it. I hear the elk call. They are calling my name. Come shoot us. Shoot us. Bless you. Caribou or elk or whatever. Yeah, probably elk because it is Elk Mountain after all, right? That's funny that's missing some of those, but huh. but this will make a nice field. Oh. 
and it's like I said, it's easily accessible. Here's where it ends. Once again, I don't know if I'll maybe I'll stop it before we get this. This is not too steep, but uh, we'll have a nice big field here, about the same size as the one we have now. Uh, for mm, I probably will grow oats. The problem is we're too far into the year to grow barley or wheat. We've missed our our um, window of opportunity to plant those. So we're going to kind of be stuck with, if we want to get a straw producing crop, it's going to be oats. And I may do that on, okay, so we've just run into the neighbor's field. Interesting. Uh, anyway, I, I think if we're gonna if we want to get a lot of straw, we're gonna need to do oats, and so I'm gonna um, plant oats on this field, and I may do soybean or um, canola on the other field. We'll see. I want to go back this way and. So no playing today, no going hunting, even though it is November. We'll see how the day pans out, maybe in the next section or series of this. But I need to, I really need to get the grass done. I thought this would run all the way over to the neighbor's field, but I guess this is the line. We'll see how far over I can get. <coughs> Once again, I don't know exactly where that line is. Uh, maybe we should put a fence up or something. No, that really was the line. That's it. But I guess it doesn't matter because since we're doing a crop here, it will it'll kind of automatically be like that anyway because I'll just plow as far as I can plow and that's it. Then we don't own the rest of it. I probably won't run into the exact edge, but... It's funny how the, the game really does simulate the coming of winter with that shorter day span. It's 2.30 and it's already looking like evening. And we're just going to do this here. I might own some of that, but I don't. I'm just going to mow this section here. Okay, so we're going to head up here. This is going to take forever. Our elk and caribou friend agree. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this done off camera. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of elk, uh, elk, elk episode of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did, uh, Elk Mountain. <laughs> I definitely had fun sharing my farm with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and uh, I will see you maybe when we start making hay or maybe even further out. But uh, I will, I'll have this all finished, and we will uh, move on to the next phase of, of care and management as we start to turn 
Well, we're going to make a field here, and we're going to turn the other field and uh, get all that done so that we can move on to next year and get crops planted and all that good stuff. So have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.